afraid. I won't hurt you. Alright, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of Creepy Tale 2. As you can probably imagine, this is a sequel to Creepy Tale 1, which did come out last year, and it was honestly a very, very good game. I didn't have a chance to check it out on the channel, but I took it out for a spin myself, and I really did enjoy my time with that one. Essentially, the Creepy Tale series thus far, now with the second one anyway, is a Central European-inspired folklore with a big emphasis on Brother Grimm stories. And even though it's kind of, uh, you know, you're playing the role of children, well, um, terrible things happen. I lost track of time. I'd better go and check on my family. Now, one thing you'll probably notice from the first one, assuming you have played the first one, there's actually voice acting in this one, which was missing from the first game itself, which is, you know, a plus. We'll see how, how the voice acting plays out here for us as we go forward. Now, this is going to be kind of working in your bit of a traditional adventure game. Think of it as something like a little misfortune and the Deponia games that we played recently. Essentially, just a point-and-click adventure game. Try to find items, you know, combine items, use them in certain locations to trigger things to happen, etc., etc. Lars? My teddy bear is missing. But you two are inseparable. When did your teddy run off? We were playing hide and seek in the yard. He usually hides behind the well. He thinks that's a good spot, silly teddy. But he's not there today. We'll find him. Don't worry. Okay. So it seems we might have to go locate Teddy Bear for assists. There's only the teddy bear's body here. Teddy bear's body, sans head. Right. Oh. oh. I think I found the head. Can I get the axe? And you have my axe! A mean crowd tore off the teddy bear's head. How can I make it open its beak? Well, um... There's a couple of arrows here and you were sharpening arrows upstairs. I think we come back and we shoot an arrow into that crow. I'll only shoot the crowd if there's no other option. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. How about that? A cupboard full of handicrafts. Ellie is in charge of it. I don't know why, but she likes to keep it locked with a key. Mm hmm I think the crowd will like a piece of cheese. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got her head. There. The Ted has been found. Now I just need to sew the head back on. Mm hmm Well, I haven't seen any sort of sewing kit this far is the only concern. Although, wait a second. You mentioned handicrafts, right? Do you have the key to that cupboard, by the way? Ellie, can I borrow the yes. key to your little cupboard? Maybe. What for? I think it'll speed up the search for your lost teddy bear. Really? All right. Take it. Catch. There we go. Open backpack scenario you teaching me about Little combining materials. You know, it's not it's not my first rodeo in an adventure game, my friend. Ted Teddy is back. Time to tell Ellie the good news. Okay. So Teddy's been restored. Life as we know it is happy and sweet game. Nothing terrifying about it. Look who I found behind the haycart. Tell Teddy not to play with crowds again. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Son, come here. Yes, father? It's meant to be a cold night. Be a good lad and chop some firewood. Right away, father. Okay. Well, fortunately for us, we did uh, acquire already Gimli's axe, so we're good on that part. Now, where does one get wood? Are we going outside for this or what? Go, go outside. See wood here. Oh, you just grab those. Okay, that's cool. So I guess we're just grabbing all these bad boys here. Any more? No. It's a golden butterfly, though. Whew. That's one heavy axe. 
Father wants me to grow up to be like Hercules. Just need to carry the firewood into the house and I'm done. Done. Good job, son. Put the firewood in the stack by the fireplace. I finished chopping the firewood. Now I can take a break. Already? Well, I guess you are a little child, so sure, I can imagine. Chopping down wood might tire you out fairly quickly. Yeah. Enjoy the rest, pal. Oh, good. Ellie, don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. It's me, Marta. Remember how much fun we had playing tag last week? I've come to take you back to your family. I have a present for you. See how the pebbles glow. You'll gain power and become a part of a grand scheme. Come out and try it on. If you don't like it, we'll leave. I promise. My whole body feels shivery, but in a nice way. I feel like I'm the queen of the world. I am pleased to welcome you, sister. But you're not the only child in the family, correct? That's right. I have a brother. Excellent. Where is he? Here. He's right up there. Oh, you dare dime your brother out this way? Not sure if that's life, dude. It seems like he took a... Photograph me. Seems like that took quite a bit of a crack to the back of the dome piece. Well, the game starts off quickly, I would say that. Shh, be quiet. What are you, a dwarf? My name is Buckthorn. I'm your house spirit. I live in a tree hollow nearby, so I'm always on hand whenever I'm needed. A house spirit? I always thought they only existed in fairy tales. My dear Lars, the world is full of magic, but it isn't revealed to everyone. Here, drink this draft of honeyberry. It will calm you and give you energy. Who attacked our house? Oh, Lars. Something terrible has happened. Evil has come to our land. In the last month, children have been going missing, and forest dwellers have been perishing. With a certain diadem, one little girl's mind was enslaved, and now she's gathering a whole army. A diadem? My sister, she just put it on. Dark magic. Now she is in the service of evil. Marta, Dorothy, and now Ellie. Things are getting worse by the day. The mystery lies in the butterflies. They are the ones controlling the forest people's minds while devouring their flesh from within. What do we do? How do we save Ellie? Did you see the giant with Marta? Ellie will probably get something like that as a servant. Simply going in and taking Ellie won't work. We need a plan. Go to the town, find my brother. He lives in the tailor's house. He even helps with the sewing and the housework. And he's awfully inquisitive. He should to know more than me. Take him some of my very own homemade mushroom cakes. They're his favorite. Thank you, Bakhtom. It was good to meet you. I'll be waiting for you and Ellie. May the forces of nature help you. Hmm. That's a lot to digest. So I'm I'm curious as to the nature of this. Is this like Supposed to be Central European inspired. I guess we'll continue going off to the right here. Is it like possibly Scandinavian? Would that be correct? And if anybody has like an exact like, you know, theory about this, 
I'm very curious as to what the location is. It could be just probably more than one single location, since so it's just supposed to be like Central European. But it feels very Scandinavian to me. Okay, so we're supposed to be looking for Taylor. As apparently lights are going off here. The end of the rope isn't being used for anything. Why don't you take the it? The end of the rope. I guess we don't have the item for it then, huh? All I got is this mushroom cake, which, to be honest with you, sounds kind of weird, but I'm a big fan of mushrooms, I'm a big fan of cakes. And again, you don't always mix things that always sound good to you, right? Weird. Somebody must have been in a hurry. They left the jack out in this bad weather. I mean... You could have just forgotten. No big deal. <laughs> Why is everybody being so creepy this time? Judging by the sign, this is the tailor's house. I hope they'll be happy to see me here. Seems to be like a note on the it window looks as like well. the girls beat me to the tailor's. Yeah, it seems to be blood, and that's not... Why is... Why did they have a drawn fireplace? I need to take a good look around. The house spirit probably hid in time. Huh. Okay. Heavy barn key. Let's go outside. What do we have here? Big claw? That's one huge claw. It looks like the tailor put up a good fight. Okay. Yarn. First rule. Adventure games. Pick everything up first. Then you start making piecing it together and what goes where. Here. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Come down here. Hmm. He's got like something around his neck. It looks like a key. Wonder if it's a key for this chest. Now we can't hmm. interact with the chest. Interesting fireplace. <laughs> yeah. Quite interesting, huh? Who are you trying to fool? Hmm. Well, before we do much, let's go outside, because I know I saw that note. Letter from a wood fairy, addressed to the house spirit that lives in the tailor's fireplace. Huh? So the house spirit has a hideaway. I hope he got to it in time. It's probably behind that, uh, also oh convenient fireplace drawing. We can continue going down this side, you guys have turned the lights off. Okay, so there's not much as we can go, it seems to be another map. What is this? Oh, I'm pulling it. It's like a way inside or what? No. Oh, just an item. An old but still sturdy plank of wood. Okay, well let's see about, um... Oh, you know what? Now that we got that claw... Oh, yes sir. Strong rope, about five meters long. Hmm. Now let's see about combining things. I guess can we combine? That makes no sense. That makes that makes that makes. I, I can use this to hook onto something and climb up a little way. Huh. I can use <laughs> this to hook. We made our own Batman contraption. Let I'm a regular MacGyver. From the wood fairy. You don't have to say everything that I highlight, my friend. Okay. What about you and you? My personal invention. A fishing rod made out of a pin and some yarn. Swing up there. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, what about you? Can we... Yes. I found the house spirit's home, but the door is locked. Good. Well, I think I know where the key's at. It's really that freaking cat. Is the eyeball telling me to use something? Can I use the rope here? Oh, you can! Mm -hmm. I told you he's a little bad man! It's got a good hold. I think I'm going to try climbing up. <laughs> that was one hell of a toss, let me tell you. Just so conveniently wrapped around the uh, chimney there. And once again, I'm in control of this too. It's kind of neat. Yeah. So just about anything you can technically have to work for in terms of puzzle solving, you'll normally see like a little aisle on it. That's what it seems like so far. Um, okay, so we have... what is this even supposed to be? Fresh milk. Oh, okay. For the cat. 
That's a dish, I see. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come down and have some tasty milk. The poor thing is scared out of its mind. It's even afraid of me. You mean this entire, um... House being flipped inside out and all the blood leading into that chimney. Freaked out the cat. Can't imagine. I guess I just step out and we'll give him time. Oh, there he is. All the scary stuff is over now. Be a good kitty and let me take this little key of you. Alright. Hello, I'm Lars. Backthorn told me to find you. Is he... <laughs> all right? Yes, he hid me when I was being chased, and he told me you could help. I have to save my sister. Something terrible has happened to her. Lars, your sister's mind has been possessed by the diadem. I'm afraid that simply taking it off won't be enough. Bakhtorn said you were brave. Well, you're going to need your bravery now. Even my master, the brave Taylor, lost his battle against those creatures. He landed a few good hits, but they just got up and attacked again. I tried to help, but they slashed me with their claws and I tumbled down into the basement. It seems the girls are hunting boys. Yes, they use them as living cocoons to turn larvae into new magical butterflies. What? So boys are used? Oh. The demon himself is harmless. He hides in a <coughs> cave, and little girls do all his <coughs> dirty work for him. You need to hurry. Head east through the forest, and there you'll find the cave. <coughs> but how am I supposed to defeat evil? Too late. I think he's dead. Elle is being possessed by evil. Who knows where, and I'm stuck here. Father, I have no idea what's wrong with him. <laughs> Lars, keep it together. You're going to find a way to lower the ladder, find the cave, and save your sister. Okay. That's disturbing, though. So they're using boys to, I guess, infect them, inject into them, place in them, insert into them, whatever word you want to use for that. To grow the larvae inside like a cocoon and then they burst out from within them, I suppose? Oh god. A strange railed mechanism. It might have something to do with the ladder. See, this is where some height would be nice, right? Just reach up there and jump up and grab it. Okay, let's see what we can find here. Part of the house spirit's arm has been changed to a prosthesis with a hook on the end. What if this is the key to the way out? Yeah. Probably for those loops up there, we just gotta find a way to toss it up and like... I don't have any rope anymore, do I? No. Stas is slotted perfectly into the mechanism. Mm. Mm. Well, that's where the light was coming before. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so now that's blocked. But now, so yellow to the lower left, green right there, okay. And then red over here. 
Mmm. Okay. Okay. Intriguing how it goes about it. But pretty. I guess it makes sense to some degree. Let's get on out of here. What the hell? Another disappearance today, and who do I see at the scene of the crime? Oh, are you the king of the county? <laughs> what? That's why I'm here. Let me go. I'm looking for my sister. Monsters attacked my house. I managed to escape, and now I'm here looking for answers. Ah, misfortunes never come singly. This morning, my sweet, clever princess disappeared. I guess he is the king. Someone crept into the royal garden, tore a maidservant to ribbons, and kidnapped my daughter. They're attacking the town too. The monsters are being controlled by girls who are possessed by evil. You are better informed than my advisor's boy. Who are you? Your Majesty, my name is Lars. I'm the son of a humble huntsman. All I know is that the evil creature giving orders to the girls is harmless, and it is holed up in a cave somewhere. I'm going there to rescue my little sister. Your words and deeds are worthy of respect. And you are not lacking in courage, I see. I'm willing to do anything for my family. I beseech you, find my daughter. I will grant you half a kingdom, whatever you want. You have my word as king. But... Here, this is her portrait. Please, boy, find her. All right, I'll do my best. My carriage is waiting outside. I'll take you as far as the forest. Time is of the essence. Go, find my little princess. And remember, good always conquers evil. Um, okay. Off with you! Great deeds await! Wait! Many dangers lie ahead of you. Here, take my dagger. Thank you, my king. I'm in control now. So your best... The best thing you could do for me, even though this is your daughter who's been kidnapped as well, is take me out to the outskirts and give me a dagger. Why would you just send your entire royal guard along with the child who knows where this thing might be at? Sure. I'll go handle it myself. Not that big knight there dressed up in armor from head to toe. But chapter 2 is upon us. Step into the unknown. I mean, look at this place. The, 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 the trees themselves are treants. Either way, um, we've gone long enough for this, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you want to see some more, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments, and we definitely come back and do some more of this. Otherwise, all the information for Keep Your Tail will be down below in the description in case you want to pick this up for yourselves. I'll catch you guys next time.